Nigel, a one-one draw. What's your assessment of that performance and point? Uh, I think in isolation, uh, you might say, always oh, disappointing playing a team, you know, lower than us, but. On the back of what we've had in the last week or so, I think it's a good point. Uh, got the 1-0 lead, deservedly so. Uh, I thought they had the, the better of the last 20 minutes or so of the first half. I thought we did nothing wrong at the start of the second half. And uh, they've had one shot that's rebounded off Aidan Flint and just fell perfectly for the lad. Uh, and he slotted it in. Uh, not much you can do about that. But I think from that point on, we did everything we could. A couple of chances from set plays, uh, headers, uh, Callum Johnson nearly got his second of the night um, but there's an absolute stonewall penalty after nine or ten minutes uh, why we haven't got that I have no idea what was your view of that? <laughs> there's the same view as everybody Callum's gone past the lad he's been tripped in the box uh, and I saw their players reaction they were all just waiting for a penalty to be given Prior to that, you started really well, set the tempo. I thought we were very good indeed. Uh, and then got the goal and lost our way a little bit. It's one of them, you know, uh, Doncaster sort of stood on the ball in their own half, which was fine. Didn't really create too much. Uh, and it was going to take a break or something like that, I think, for the, you know, to get a bit of a look to break us down. And they got that. Uh, but from that point, I thought we had enough to go and get the winner. Yeah, just after Callum Johnson scored, uh, Stags just seemed to lose a bit of rhythm. Yeah, we did. Uh, and they got on the ball, and uh, as I say, without hurting us really, uh, which is no problem if, if they've got the ball and the goalkeeper's standing on it, you want to look at home, there's, uh, there's no great problem. It was all well, when they get an hour half, that's when you need to get tight. That deadlock breaker, though, from Callum Johnson, really good head, a fine cross from Quinn. That was a brilliant goal again, uh, and that's where you were encouraging our fullbacks to be in those sorts of goal scoring positions. Uh, and it's a very, very good header, and he's so close to doubling his, his tally in the second half. What did you want to see in the second period? Because you were much the better side. Yeah, exactly what we saw. Uh, just can't do anything about the goal we conceded. And uh, just wish it a little bit more quality at time in that final third but that's always going to be the case at this level uh, but in terms of the effort and the endeavour third game in whatever a week or something uh, uses all five sub substitutions again absolutely brilliant from the lads one of the best chances for Mansfield was perhaps the last kick of the game wasn't it the uh the Reese Oates chance from the yep. from the corner, was it? Yeah, he had two headed chances. I think uh, Lewis Brunt whipped a great ball in and he, he got a header on it and just went straight to the goalkeeper. And then, what, a minute to go, agonisingly rolls inches wide. That's the difference, you know, uh, in the game. It can easily sneak inside the post. You win it, everybody's ecstatic. Uh, Aidan Flint had a good chance with a header as well. So, uh, you know, it would have been nice to get that, that second goal as we got against Grimsby for that cushion. But it wasn't to be. You certainly went for it in the second half. Did, did you also have one eye on the New Year's Day game at Stockport with the changes? No, it was more about what's gone uh, and the effort that's gone in from the lads. A bit tempted tonight to make a couple of changes and put some fresh legs out there. Uh, but the lads played so well on Boxing Day, 39 sh shots. Uh, looked good in training yesterday. We asked them all, you know, they're all genuine lads. Everyone feel OK? They did. Um, so that's why we, we, put, we put them the same team out tonight. Yeah, the uh, the prospect of making changes must have been a real conundrum for you because in that Boxing Day game, Mansfield almost shot their bolt, didn't they, in that second half? Yeah, we gave everything. We do every game. Uh, and, you know, we don't cruise, uh, which is <laughs> a little bit of a problem at times because, you know, with the lads giving everything, they are dead on the feet at times. Uh, so we'll see how they are on uh, New Year's Eve when we come in training. Uh, but it might be that the best way to get a result at, um, at Stockport is to get some fresh legs out there. Good to get Aaron Lewis back on the pitch. Uh, that's a bonus for us. Uh, so we're getting close to a, a sort of a, a fully fit squad. You know, Elliot Hewitt's going to be training in four or five weeks' time, uh, which is which is great news for the start of February, end of Jan, start of Feb, uh, and then we'll we'll see what happens in January. Just capping off here. All in all, are you satisfied with the point? Yeah, because you, no, not satisfied. Of course not. When you, especially when you won the look, but you've got to put it in perspective of what's, of what's gone, and also the season so far. We've lost one in twenty-three, one game in half a season. We've lost. That's absolutely incredible. And what a return so far you've had in this Christmas period. You said it would be pivotal, and so far it's looking good. Yeah, ten points uh, we've picked up since the, what, was it the 16th we went down to uh, Crawley uh, 10 points a lot out of 12 uh, we've got to try and get something on New Year's Day and then the big one here against Crew on the 6th um, so I think you know we've gained a point on, a, on Wrexham tonight uh, Stockport drew Barrow drew as we were uh, another one ticked off
Yeah, and you move up to second in Skybet League 2 ahead of the big New Year's Day fixture against the league leaders Stockport County. But just reflecting on the first half of the season, has it surpassed your expectations? I think in terms of, uh, yes, to lose only that one game, certainly. Uh, you know, I think the teams in the Premier League, you know, your Man Cities have lost more than that and things. So I think I think in terms of our consistency, the strength of the squad, how everybody's contributed, certainly uh, to only have that one defeat in the league uh, has been beyond what you'd normally expect second in the league it's funny because uh, I thought a couple of people behind me tonight, I thought we'd gone back to second from bottom like we were two or three years ago tonight when I was listening to a few of the people behind the dugout a little bit unusual but uh, a minority most definitely oh definitely yeah but uh, I don't even stand the minority one or two the team's gone from uh, second from bottom a few years ago or, uh, to uh, second in the league with the two games in hand uh, and one defeat in 23 I think there's a case for saying every single supporter should be behind those lads on the pitch tonight. Mm, quite a uh, blood sport for some, it seems, but uh, like I say, in the uh, the very small numbers. Um, looking ahead to the big game again against the league leaders, Stockport have set the pace now at the top of the table for some weeks for your side. Will it be somewhat of a barometer? Yeah, it'll be a good measure of where we are. They're the outstanding team of the league so far. Uh, you know, Barrow and Wrexham, there's, there's, there seems to be four of us at the moment. MK Dons are coming up there, Notts County are coming back now. Uh, so there won't be just the four. Uh, but Stockport having a, a little bit of a, an iffy start, just a bit, a bit of hangover from the playoffs. We know all about that. Uh, and then they went on that absolutely incredible run. You know, we think we're on a great run of one in 23 and they went 14 straight wins in all competitions just shows how good they are your team aside do you see them as the best see, uh, team in the league yeah well we've seen Wrexham we've played Stockport here um, I, th I think after Christmas or around Christmas after half the season it takes shape and there's a reason that, you know it takes shape um, you know there's, there's enough time uh, over that time for everybody to assert themselves where they're going to be in the league roughly there'll be some drop and some come, come but I think it pretty much sorts itself out after this time the new year beckons and with it the opening of the transfer window, any transfers likely? Uh, we've made one inquiry for a loan, uh, that's all so far. If everybody comes out unscathed after crew in the next two, uh, you know, two big games, uh, we'll, we'll see how, how, what sort of shape we're in after that. But you see the strength of the squad over the first 23 games has been very good. Uh, good to get Aaron Lewis back on the pitch. Uh, we've got Hiram just outside uh, the 18 at the moment, Callum McDonald, and uh, we've got Elliot Hewitt back on the pitch within hopefully four weeks training. So that'll be a big boost. Can you say what position you're looking to strengthen? No. What about inquiries for your players? Have you had any? Yeah, we've had one or two. Um, and uh, might be a loan or a permanent, something like that. It all depends on, uh, on injuries and the state of the squad in a week or two. Happy New Year. And to you and to everybody.